Hey everyone, in this video, we will learn how you can do substitutions in the URL, like changing API endpoints or switching environments or testing a new API version. So let's take a look. So you have to install Requestly that is available in Chrome store. Once you install Requestly, click on the extension icon and open the rules configuration page. Then click on create new rule. And out of all the options, click on replace sling apart. The UI is very simple and very intuitive. You just have to specify uh, replace a particular substring in the URL with another substring. So for example, we have a site that contains a Ruby DTM script that is minified. So let's take a look. We go to the network tab and search for launch. You can see this script is minified and there is a random hash value before it. So let me open this in new tab. And I know that unminified version is also available. We just have to remove the min part in the URL, something like this. So we will try to load the unminified version using replace part. So we can just simply say replace dot min dot js with simply dot js when my URL contains sx dot adobe dtm dot com and you can just say load unminified dtm script and just save the load. So if I refresh the page now you can see this has been redirected to the unminified script. And now you can go to the sources tab. You can search for launch. And now you can easily inspect all the code and put the breakpoints. So it is very helpful in debugging the script hereafter. Not only this, you can also use the uh, replace string rule for environment switching. So for example, if you have a staging server, which is running on, let's say, a staging dash api.example.com. So you can just specify like this, apis.example.com. Let's remove this and you can just say your staging part, staging dash apis.example.com. So now any URL which hits api.example.com will be actually hitting staging api.example.com. You can also test this out. So you can go to test this rule and let's say, for example, api.example.com slash v1 slash checkout question mark a equal to one and b equal to two. When we test this tool, okay, I made a typo there. So you can see it goes to staging dash api.example.com and notice the rest of the URL remains same. Similarly, you can also test for a specific API version upgrade. For example, I just take example, example.com slash APIs slash V1 slash checkout. And let's say I want to load V2 slash checkout. So I can just say API slash V2 slash checkout. And let's just save this. And if I go to example.com, let's specify some parameters there. If I do this, you can see this is actually hitting API slash V2 now. I hope this is helpful. Uh, now you can easily create your replace uh, tool in Requestly. And it is very easy to share the rules as well with your teammates. So you just have to click on the share button and click on share. You get a link which you can share on your Slack, on your email, and your preferred communication channel. I hope this is helpful. This is such an happy debugging.